Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel Sessions and today we will learn how to use sort and filter functionality in Excel. Sort functionality helps you to rearrange your data in ascending or descending order. You can sort by date, text or number type data. Also, you can sort multiple columns using custom sort options. To understand the sort functionality, I have created the table having different type of data. The sorting option is available in home tab under editing group and in data tab under sort and filter option. To sort the data in category column in alphabetical order, select any cell in category column, go to the home tab and in editing group, click on sort and filter drop down and select sort A to Z. It will sort the categories in alphabetical order. Similarly, to sort the categories in a reverse alphabetical order, select any cell in category column, go to home tab under editing group, click on sort and filter drop down and select sort Z to A. The data in category column is sorted in reverse alphabetical order. Remember, the data in column B to G is also changed corresponding to column A. The data in date type column can be arranged in oldest to newest or newest to oldest order. To sort the date, select any cell in date column, go to home tab or data tab. In data tab, under sort and filter group, select sort oldest to newest. The date are arranged in oldest to newest order and the data in other columns are changed accordingly. Similarly, to change the date in newest to oldest order, again, go to data tab under sort and filter group, select sort newest to oldest and this will sort the date in newest to oldest order. The number type data which is available in inventory column can be sought in smallest to largest or largest to smallest order. Uh, to sort the inventory data, click any cell inventory column, go to home tab under editing group, click on sort and filter drop down and select sort smallest to largest. The data in inventory column is now sorted in smallest to largest order and data in other columns are changed accordingly. Similarly, we can arrange the data in largest to smallest order. Select any cell in inventory column under editing group. Click on sort and filter drop down and select sort largest to smallest. In Excel, we can customize the sorting order also. We have priority column in column G where we have priority high medium and low if we sort the data according to priority now you can see the data is arranged in high to low to medium order it means the data is arranged in alphabetical order but if you want to arrange your data in customized way which is high to medium to low order then to customize the order select any cell in priority column, go to home tab under editing group, click on sort and filter drop down and select custom sort. This will open sort dialog box. The sort by drop down is showing priority, sort on is showing cell values, keep it as is. In order drop down, select custom list. It will open custom list dialog box. If you want to sort your data, According to weekday or month name, you can select anyone. We want to create our own new list. Click on new list and in the list entries, type high, press enter, medium, type enter, low. Click on add, new custom list is added in custom list. Click OK. In sort dialog box, the order is now showing the customized order. Click OK and the data in priority is arranged in high to medium to low order. In Excel, we can sort the data in multiple columns also, which means that if your data can be categorized in different groups, then within a group also you can sort or rearrange the data. In our table, we have different groups in category column. So to sort the data within each category, 
select any cell in category first go to the home tab under editing group in click on sort and filter drop down and select sort a to z the categories are arranged in alphabetical order now within the category we want to arrange the inventory from smallest to largest so select any cell in the inventory column go to the home tab under editing click on sort and filter drop down and select custom sort in sort dialog box the category option is already available click on add level button in then by drop down select inventory in sort on drop down keep cell values as is in order it is showing smallest to largest if you want to change to largest to smallest you can use the same so i'm currently keeping smallest to largest option click ok so now the inventory data is sorted from smallest to largest within each category so if you see the fruits category the inventory is arranged from smallest to largest filter functionality in excel will help you to filter the data in the data set so that you can focus on data you want to see filter option is again available in both home tab and data tab in home tab it is available under editing group click on sort and filter and you will find filter option similarly the filter option is available in data tab go to sort and filter group and you will find filter option the shortcut of using filter option is control shift and L to filter the data select any cell in your data and press control shift L this option will add drop down in first row of the data to filter the category data click on drop down in category column it will show all the unique categories available if you want to see only items related to ice cream click on select all option to unselect and select ice cream option click ok and it will show the data related to ice cream category to clear the filter from category column click the drop down and select clear filter from category option if you want to remove the drop down from the first row press ctrl shift l again so control shift L option will add as well as remove the drop down from first row. The category column is a text field. If you click the drop down, it will show text filter options. Now you can select any options according to your requirement. For an example, I am selecting begins with and I'm writing F in custom auto filter dialog box. The category drop down is showing other option also. Now this option will filter the data where category is starting from F click OK and the data will show only those category which is starting from F. To remove the filter, select clear filter from category option. Now to filter the data based on date type, click on drop down on date column In below you can select the dates of any specific month or year for date type of columns date filters are available where different options are available where you can filter your data based on the days week month quarter or year for an example I am selecting this week now it will show the data where the date is of the current week to filter the number type of data which we have in inventory column click on drop down on the inventory for number type data we have number filters available if we want to show the items where inventory is less than 5 we will use less than option in inventory the different options are available currently I am using is less than type 5 and click OK now it is showing the data where inventory is less than 5 we can apply the filter in multiple columns if we want to show the data for a stationary category where inventory is less than 5 we will apply the filter in category column also click on drop down of category column we will unselect all and select stationary item 
and click OK. Now it is showing the stationary categories where inventory is less than 5. In this video, we have learned how to use sort and filter option in Excel. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, press thumbs up and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel and share your feedback, suggestions and queries in comment section. Thank you.